against Kim Harmon, who has bowled a 256 average in the first two games to meet the King Dwight Robinson. Kim Herman with a 258 and a 255. Here is Dwight Robinson, left-hander against left-hander. Shootout, OK Corral, Channel 5, high noon. High noon. Just breaking down the split to open the match with, Steve. Yes, he is, and I tell you, Dwight has to feel good about that 10 baller. Let's take a look at it here. He's going to go right through the heart, throws the ball a little too slow. Goes right through the head pin, center of your screen, and the 10 pin, all the way to the right of your screen, is just going to get knocked out there, leaving an easy single pin spare. White Robinson has his spare, trying to return as the king on the BPA King of Bowling, but he must match his with a guy who has been red hot on today's circuit, Kim Herman. Again, he is open with a 258 game. And a 255. And like I said in game number two last night, he has started right where he left off in the previous game. Possibly the strongest strike we've seen to date. Absolutely eliminating everything possible on the deck. And one pin, the messenger, going back and forth looking for something else to knock down. Kim is sharp. He's tough, and he's on the mark. Leave the six pin. We can see it here on the replay why he left the six. Comes up a little too early at the line, does not follow through and get the ball down the lane, cutting through sharply, just kicking out the ten. It's immaterial. It's still an easy spare. He loses the advantage with the strike up, however. That's right on that one. Talk about a time to be heavy. Picking up those spares, and he was blasting away. Mm -hmm. Here's Dwight Robinson. Again, he's a gentleman I talked about starting out at. A rather older age to get started at in any professional sport. 21 years old. 12-year veteran now, the age of 33, coordinator at Aiken High School. Again, a little bit heavy. Steve, sometimes, well, you asked me last week, who really has the advantage in a match play? Is it the guy that's been on the lanes and continually bowling, or is it the guy that's coming in fresh and pumped up? I have to say the advantage today goes to Kim Hearn. He knows the lanes. He's pumped up. He's thrown two beautiful games. Dwight Robinson coming off the bench knows that he's going to have to throw a big game to win here. And it looks to me like he's trying to fit the ball up into the pocket rather than let it roll in there and carry. And a left-hander has a little bit different look. He has to get adjusted because usually that left side of the lane is a little cleaner than the right side. It's flatter. It's definitely flatter. There's less play over there when the uh, lanes get refinished every year or every other year. There's a lot less wood that has to be skimmed off over there, and you're just playing on a flat surface. It's it's a different game on the left side. Do I try and get a feel for things earlier here? He's escaped a split in numbers one and now number three, but still must pick up a spare. Let's watch it here on the replay. We can pick it up. Even though he escapes the split, it was a much better shot. The ball just didn't go into a roll perfectly in the one-two pocket. He temporarily leads the seven and the nine, and then the seven decides to exit stage right. Now he has been able to pick up those spares in all the first three. Dwight Robinson trying to keep on that pace that Kim Harmon has set so beautifully in the first two. Steve, you've got your finger on it. The pace. Kim Harmon is on the pace. Let's see if he can get right back with strikes. It's in the area. He does. Again, the Kim's going flying. And as you can tell, the crowd really reacting as well. Maybe they're scaring those pins down. Let's watch it here. He knows it's good. Now let's just watch the pins. Look at this. Head pin goes to the wall, comes across there. Center your screen. Now it's going to roll over and 
look for something else to knock down, but everybody's gone home. Kim Harmon, tough, in the pocket. If he gets this left lane, we could see him in a 250. Go, 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 go. Both players, Steve, did you pick it up? They're going high on the left lane. We've talked about it before. There's nothing wrong with the lanes, folks. It's just part of this fascinating game of bowling. Things change, and you have to be able to make changes, adjustments. Bob and we even find the spot. Kim Herman shot on the left lane has changed a little bit. He's going to have to look for it. He picked up the serve, but again, we talked about Dave just mentioning that left lane has always been a little bit stronger. We saw Earl the Twirl, Weatherford, struggle with that left lane and just fire away beautifully on the right. You know, if this game was easy all the time, there'd be no fascination and no enjoyment in coming out and trying to test yourself against the elements. The game of bowling is great. I encourage everyone to go out and try it in a league or in open play to seek a way to have a good time. All right. White Robinson again will leave the one. That doesn't look very nice. It's week seven, Steve. It, it was in the pocket, but there's really nothing on the ball. Nothing that'll compare with what Kim Harmon's doing, that's for sure. Ball not rolling, not driving, not taking the pins out. That two just kind of skipped by. Look out. Oh. Dwight Robinson. One in the channel. In warm-up, Steve, I don't know if you noticed, but he was shooting that 7 pin, and he was just hanging on the edge and making it. Obviously, he did not choose to allow himself a little margin for error when the show started, and uh, unfortunately, he paid the penalty. And caution and open against Kim Herman can be hazardous to your health. Bye. And two looks with it. Two opens can kill you. Yeah, that's the split that he avoided in one and three, and he comes back here. Number five. Way light, leaving the three seven. You see the head pin just knocking down there, obviously not having a chance to take the three pin out. And now he has the toughest pair of the last two months, probably. But this one, the most expensive spare. Gonna be tough. You gotta hit the three pin to the right. Oh, almost got it. Gave it a good try. Yes, he did. He gets a warm ovation. Fine crowd here at Seymour Bowl. Now, the Seymour Lane will be hosting that first annual Greater Cincinnati Junior Match Game Championship April 28th at noon. We'll tell you more about that, but first let's watch Kim Harmon. He's tough. His people are in the back. No. That he can put him away right now. If he starts striking, it can be curtain. He continues to mark and finds his left lane. It's over. Sam Coleman says, usual, every week. Undying devotion. Tournament committee chairman, Coleman Lanes. Bill Seibel from Durban Bowl sitting between us, as usual, keeping score and the stats for us. Tom Gray, Lasanaville Lanes, advertising committee, and both the bowl. They're watching a heck of a match here, Steve. Kim Herman, four lanes to the left, running it out. He is just roaring right now. I think he liked it. He ran down the lane 18 to get a look at it. Dwight Robinson has to start striking and not stop until the game's over to have any sort of a chance. Warsh out. Bad, bad shot. Ball going over the ninth board. Now, it never goes into a roll. Just never goes into a roll. Cuts right straight through the two pin. Leave the wash out. You have to hit this in Dwight's instance between the one and the three. And that ain't. It's not going to get there. I didn't think so. Three, to, three opens in a row, Stephen. Absolutely <laughs> impossible. To come back from this, unless your opponent gives you some slack, and Kim Herman is not cutting any slack for anyone today. Again, he leaves the one.
long pin. Well, that was a much better shot than Steve. Yeah. Even though he left the seven pin, it was it was a crushing seven. Tough shot, but Dwight Robinson is going to have to hope for a monsoon to move in here and blow everybody away to have any sort of a chance at winning this match. Kim Herman is just too tough today. Dwight Robinson picking up the scrimmage. This is not the same Dwight Robinson we've seen the last couple of weeks. He did not particularly have a great game last week as you take a look at the scores and Kim Herman just really having a powerful example of bowling today. He has been splendid. Well, he's got him on their feet here, Steve. Little body English, a few moves, and excellent pull, and it's got the crowd excited. A reminder, he has a 256 average in his first two games, and he's looking like he may just keep that average. Go right on by. 56 pins advantage, Kim Herman. It's all coming at the end of this point. Yes, indeed. It will take more than a monsoon. That means when the does arrive, it's going to have to blow Kim Herman away rather than the pins. Kim Herman has just jumped right up and snatched this title. It's over. Nobody has anything to be ashamed of, but Kim Herman's got a lot to be proud of. That's for the White Robinson we've seen the last couple of weeks. And he has really worked hard in his game, and he said he has been on a hot streak lately. He bowls about 20 to 30 games a week two times. He's a school coordinator at Aiken High School here in Cincinnati. Jim Whitaker from the BPA Advertising Agency sitting down there just smiling from ear to ear, watching one hellacious match. Uh, Good shot. Again. You started to talk before, Steve, about the first game of Greater Cincinnati Junior Match Games, and there's a lot of details in this tournament, and it's open to all the juniors in the city, but if you want all the details, call Seymour Lane. Ask for Steve Hirsch and get all the details. He'll send you an entry blank. And no, we're not going to let Kim Herman bowl in the tournament, so you can call in. <laughs> That is five in a row, and here it is again. We can see the form on the replay. Now, let's let's watch the reaction. He knows it's there. It's pumped up. It's ready to go. And Kim Herman says, yeah, out of there. I like it. <laughs> 260 pace if he strikes out in the 10th frame. What a yeah, come on up now! Crowd ooing as he leaves the seven. Too much arc, and he knew it. He got the ball way too wide. Coming back, it, it had a chance, but leaving a weak seven pin. He has a chance now. 239. Still a marvelous series. He's got a lot to be proud of. And he popped it free. Kim Herman fixing up the spare. Going on that hand that has been so hot this <laughs> afternoon, trying to cool it down like a gunfighter at the OK Corral. I asked him in between matches, what about the brace on your arm? And he says it's to help the tendonitis problem that he does have and that evolved from an accident he had last year. But tendonitis didn't seem to bother him. 7.52 for three games. Steve, how about that? And I'm sure his grandmother out there is smiling from ear to ear. There's Dwight Robinson. Just Still a good shot. Up. Still a good shot, Steve. It's over. Most bowlers have a tendency to let up and just throw the ball. Dwight Robinson threw a good shot. Well, he has had two strikes in his last two frames, and then left the seven on that number ten. Dwight Robinson certainly has held his poise. Holding on there to pick up a spare. Well, he's, he's a very good king, and he he's the one that took it last week and the week before. And 
it's Kim Herman's day to shine, and with 7.52 for three games, I don't think anybody was going to stand in his way today. I think it would be awfully difficult from the cold and compete with the 250 series. Dwight Robinson shaking the hand of the new king, Kim Herman, who bowls a 239. This has been an athletic performance as you see it. Sizable Kim Herman with his first BPA King Championship.